James, find the towel and throw it in. James and Martin head off to drink a beer with some craft beer virgins and maybe turn a few of them into beer geniuses. Somewhat by accident, you've landed in the planet's first ever beer spinning class. <laughs> let's climb, let's work those thighs, let's get that booty into gear. <laughs> let's take a sip of the beer. Mm. Make sure the beer hits all of your tongue, get it in the front of your tongue, in the middle, on the back. OK, back to seated. So session beers are some of our favourite beers. They're low in ABV, but they still pack a huge amount of flavour, just like this one. This is a beer made by Natty Danes, and it's called Wildflower Vit Beer. And it's made right here in North Carolina. <laughs> so what do you guys taste when you're tasting this beer? Lots of citrus. It's really nice and light. I could probably drink this all day long. It'd be just fine. You could even drink it during class. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty with session beer. You can actually drink them all day long. If you get a bit too hot when you're exercising, you can just put a little bit on your head and it's going to cool your right down. <laughs> we're at the Ring Boxing Club in Boston, where we're going to do some sparring with some craft beer virgins. Don't. You'll cut your back. Oh, <laughs> that way. It's fine. It's a bit looser than it looks. <laughs> How yeah, you doing? Someone said your name's the Punisher. What do you punish? Uh, I mean, by the game ring with me most of the time. <laughs> Hopefully today, the only thing you're getting to punish is this beer. It's called the Audacity of Hops. All right, here we go. Tastes pretty good. I'm sure, it's a good sipping beer. Floral, yeah, yeah. fruity. Yeah, you can taste that. Fine. Cheers, Cheers, the Punisher. And now we're going to get James the gloves. I'm going to leave the ring. One glove each. You got the wrong handle. You don't want this hand. <laughs> I, I don't want any of the hands, to be honest. <laughs> I'm quite happy here with my beer. One, two, three, four! You from Boston? Yeah, born and bred here. What type of beers do you normally enjoy? Uh, I drink Sam Adams Boston beer. Okay, you know, cool. I try new ones every so often. This is a big beer, and it's got such a punch of hops that I have to wear a headgear to pour it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Damn, that's good. <laughs> so what do you taste when you taste this beer? The hops is really what gets me. Yeah. I like the, the fresh taste. I really get a lot of citrus character, but then in this head mask, you get a little bit of pickled onion sweat flavor coming <laughs> from that as well. Heather, how many push-ups can you do? 35. Let's do this. Whew, I need one of these now. <laughs> What are your first thoughts? Perfect. It's a, a sort of Boston thing to drink a lot of beer and have a fight. So can we actually have a, a real fight? You betcha. Martin, you're foolish. She's going to kill you. You're the worst boxing trainer ever, although you do look the part with your cap. Ladies and gentlemen, in the left corner, we have Heather from Boston, the boxing Barbie. In the right corner, Martin from Scotland, the house cat. Start your engines. <laughs> Martin's doing well, he's hanging tough, he's defensive strong. <laughs> Doing help boxing Barbies, feeling the pressure, having a beer, got some live entertainment, watching Martin get beat up by a woman. So, good night out. James, find the towel <laughs> and throw it in. She's actually quite good. Um, Heather actually won. <laughs> Heather, for winning, you deserve some more beer. Thanks, Heather. Cheers. Cheers. Zip lining and beer in the face of an unlikely combination. We're going to add fear, speed and pure adrenaline into a craft beer tasting. Let's do it. Oh, easy sailor. James will send each unsuspecting stranger down the line with a beer to taste while they zip. And Martin will be there at the other end to comfort them and get their tasting notes. Where's the most terrifying place you've had a beer so far? The Bering Sea. The most terrifying place I've ever had a beer was a strip club in Tampa. That sounds actually scarier. <laughs> so, this is the beer. This is a double IPA made by Ska. So this is a leap of faith into the unknown. I can see where we're going, though. It's kind of unknown in the sense that this cable could snap and you could fall to your death. Party! Definitely tastes really good when you're going that fast. <laughs> what flavors were you picking out, though? There's a lot of dry, malty bitterness, but um, it's very refreshing on a hot day still, you know? We just say it's the best way to drink a double IPA. Slamming a beer, doing it at the same time, was the best thing I've done all week, for sure. Cheers, bro. What we're going to do is an experiment. We're going to try and heighten your senses. We're going to try and get the blood flowing and see how that impacts the taste of the beer. This is beer and zip lining. Sweet. Let's do it. Perk! 
Vodka. And what did you think the experience of going down the zip line while you were drinking the beer? I had a little bit of adrenaline going, so I couldn't really focus on the flavors. But it's a good IPA. I recommend it. You look like the most excited person I've ever met. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ready? So how was it? Oh my god. You look very scared. I didn't spill my beer or pee myself. Any times I finish one of these beer tastings and say that, I know it's been a good day. <laughs> okay, good. The guys head to the beach to try Hawaii's state sport, outrigger canoe racing. Hopefully, they can exchange some local beer for a lesson in paddling Polynesian style. Hey, guys. Hey, what's what's happening? happening? Looks like you've got six seats in your boat, but just four people. You a mathematician? No, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys from? Scotland. You guys ever paddled before? Never, Never paddled, but I'm sure we're pretty awesome at it. So if you let us come out, we'll let you taste some beer. Let's shake on it. Oh, fist, all right. Here we go. One, two, three, push. Oh. Get it, 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 Guys, I'm going to set a challenge. You guys are good at paddling. I'm quite good at swimming. Whoever gets to the shore first gets the beer. Sounds good to me. On our marks, get set, <laughs> go. Come on, pick it up. <laughs> beer better be cold. <laughs> What's taking you so long? Cheers, guys. Cheers. Good win. That's right. What a slowpoke. <laughs> Swims like a stone. He looks a little bit like an albino seal. <laughs> I would love That's a beer. Good. Here you go. What happened to you, man? We saved some for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers. Good paddling, you guys, or at least for five of winners. <laughs> so, guys, this is Overboard IPA, the perfect after paddling beer. What do you guys think? Pineapple? It's got a little taste of the islands, the fruits and the citrus. Well, they use an amazing array of American hops in here, and that just adds those flavors to the beer. A lot of mango and pineapple. Refreshing and citrusy. What do you taste? Mm. Defeat. <laughs> Defeat.